Sources in Egypt say construction work to create spaces to accommodate Palestinian refugees has begun on the border with Gaza. They say the area is being prepared in case of an Israeli offensive in the city of Rafah as part of its campaign against Hamas, who launched the October 7 terror attacks. Such a move could cause an exodus of Palestinians across the Egyptian border. A video released by Egyptian NGO, the Sinai Foundation for Human Rights, shows work verified by the Reuters news agency as being along the Gazan border. Egypt has repeatedly said an Israeli offensive in Rafah would be unacceptable. More than a million Palestinians are currently sheltering there. Well, our correspondent in Jerusalem, Rebecca Ritters, told me more about Egypt's plans in the area. Well, just as you say there, Phil, we're getting reports, credible reports that are being verified uh, to show that this is actually underway, this construction is underway. We're seeing satellite imagery that shows this, these eyewitness videos that are being confirmed and also from speaking to contractors on the ground. You mentioned there the, the Sinai Foundation of Human Rights. They've been talking to two contractors on the ground who've confirmed that this is indeed the case, that uh, this area is being built and on the satellite uh, imagery we can see it's from the Gaza border uh, through quite uh, quite an area uh, to one of the uh, to another highway inside the Sinai Peninsula and that is being built for as you say uh, the case where we might see a mass exodus of Palestinians now e Egypt have been saying that they don't uh, want to accept a, a, a huge amount of Palestinians into their territory for fear that they won't be able to return uh, but this is of course an emergency measure should Palestinians either break through the border or, or, or should, for some reason, the border be opened. And does it look like Israel will heed international criticisms and call off its offensive on Rafa? It's really difficult to say. We, we, the IDF do not give us advance warning of their plan, plans, but we have no reason to believe that they won't carry out what they say they have been going to do, and that is to continue their ground offensive into the Rafa city, into the Rafa region, where more than a, a million people are now sheltering from other parts of the Gaza Strip and were told by the Israeli military to go down there to shelter in that area. So we, they've, they've carried through with all of their other uh, statements that they say that they've were going to go into Khan Yunus, they were going to go into the south, they did so. So we have no reason to believe that they won't, in fact, uh, go ahead with their ground offensive of Rafa as well. Uh, of course, there have been huge international calls to ensure that the civilians that are sheltering there are able to leave. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has publicly stated that he's asked the Israeli military to come up with a plan to evacuate these people sheltering there, though we have NGOs, you know, the UN and many other NGOs saying that there simply isn't room, there isn't space, where, where will these people go? Uh, many of them have been displaced multiple times already and they're tired. We've, we've spoken to some people on the ground there who say they simply would just rather die in Rafa than have to move again. They're tired uh, and they're living in squalid conditions with little belongings left uh, and they've seen many of their family members die already. So there's a lot of frustration and fear from the civilians who are still sheltering there but plans, a concrete plan to evacuate them hasn't emerged yet. OK, Rebecca, thanks for that. Uh, Rebecca Ritters in Jerusalem. Journalist Karim El Gavari joins me now from Cairo with more. Karim, what did you know about Egypt's plans in the area? Well, we first know that there are satellite pictures that shows an area about 12 square miles uh, that is prepared for something like this. We have now the videos from this NGO from Sinai you were showing in your report. And we have, um, we have uh, security sources anonymously talking that this camp is in the making, uh, that it's going to be surrounded by a wall and that it will be housing something between 60, what is able to house between 60 to 100,000 um, people. Accepting Palestinians forced out from Gaza was a red line for the Egyptian government. Has the government now changed its mind? No, um, th it's clearly a constituency plan. I mean, they don't want to be part of any official plan of any displacement uh, of Palestinians from the Gaza Strip, of any forceful conviction, uh, eviction of Palestinians from the Gaza Strip. So this is a camp that is just uh, preparing for what might come, because of course on the Egyptian side, 
there is big fear that there will be some kind of mass exodus uh, when um, this uh, uh, Israeli ground offensive in Rafah really starts. Because, I mean, what the people will do in front of them, they have the Israeli army behind them, they have the Egyptian uh, uh, wall of the border. So it's a big possibility that they might try to get out onto the Egyptian side. And they're just basically preparing for this. They're trying to put it into some kind of controlled area that uh, with, with the wall. And uh, because the Egyptian army also, don't forget, they will be not able to go against these refugees or the people who come over the Palestinians by force. It's mm -hmm. politically impossible even that they shoot at the rising. So they try to set up something where they can control the situation. And is Egypt certain that if it came to this, that uh, these refugees in the Sinai, in the places that are being, uh, in the area where all this construction work is happening, that these refugees would be there only temporarily? Well, that is the big fear. I mean, the big fear is of Egypt that they will be, that they really don't want to be part of a displacement scenario. And uh, 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 of course, first, I mean, big parts of the Gaza Strip are completely destroyed. So. Where would the people go back to when the war is over? And the second thing is, there's, of course, parts of the Benjamin, Benjamin Netanyahu government uh, who is talking openly about the displacement of Palestinians from the Gaza Strip forever. So that is something, of course, Egypt has in mind that Egypt is very fearful of. Are there concerns, Karim, that this could eventually affect bilateral relations between Israel and Egypt? Yeah, if it comes to that, absolutely. I mean, the Egyptians already said if their security concerns are uh, not addressed uh, through this Israeli uh, offensive, they might even recall the ambassador. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and there was even talk uh, uh, a few days ago that the Camp David peace agreement might be uh, completely suspended, but uh, that's something the Egyptian government uh, denied by now. We'll leave it there for the time being. Thanks for speaking to us, journalist Karim Al Gavari reporting from the Egyptian capital, Cairo. Thanks so much. You're welcome.